And one of the specimen that he collected was this creature. So this is the top of the food chain inside this cave. It's called the cave Risa, the most well adapted snake that can be found in cave area. Last time we saw one, 1.8 meters. We had recorded up until 3 meters long, twice my height over here. But don't worry, totally harmless to human because we only prefer bats and rats, small mammals, unless it is smallest. <laughs> uh, I'm small too much. So how they been on the beds, they can climb up the walls over here. Very good climbers. They can climb up the walls. Alright, for the one on the back, okay? They can climb up the walls. So imagine, if they cannot find any food on the ground, they will start to climb up, wait in one point with their mouth open when they smell or they feel the flapping wings of the beds will launch just right the food, constrict them and eat them just like that. So they are constricted. But the last time we saw any snake around this area, about two months ago and I saw it next to the waiting area outside oh. the snake. It can survive in, inside and outside as well. But after they eat, the food can last for a month. This area we call as the twilight zone. We also have the dark zone. But we're gonna experience pitch black later 100% of darkness. Anybody afraid of the dark? No. No? no? <laughs> All right. So different animals live in different kinds of zones. Like the pets you can hear in us speaking, they still depend on their vision. They have very big eyes. Alright, just like us. That's why they still stay at the brighter area. Uh, they look like this. We have the cave meta bed, one of the fruit eating beds. So it depends on your vision and sense of smell, large eyes with longer nose. We also have the insect eating, right? So this is the fruit eating or the nectar eating. Uh, we have the insect eating bed over here. They have larger ears, small eyes, wrinkle shaped nose. But why we need to protect them? Since everybody in Malaysia right now and traveling around Southeast Asia as well, I'm sure everybody have tried durian. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the smell you never forget. <laughs> so what's the relationship between the bats and also our king of the tropical fruit? So flowers of durian only bloom at night. So the bats are not the male, they look for blooming flowers. But don't worry, beside durian, they also help us pollinate up until 31 plant species. As for the insect eating, they can eat or consume up until 600 mosquitoes in one hour. Right? That will be half of their body. Alright, we have this creature, my favorite, because they fit on the cockroaches. It's called the long legs and the face, they have the long legs on it. 15 pairs of legs, 30 legs in total. It can grow up until 8 cm long. This one is in centimeter, not meter. Don't worry, only this big over here. Alright, the food body eat, they fit on smaller invertebrates such as this fish creature. Again, long legs, long antenna. 
You have to use the sense of touch, body length 2 cm, pillars can extend 6 cm. And on the ground, we also have the true cave dwellers. They live in a cave for a long time. Evolution happened. No color, no eyes. These are the antenna and the tail because of the backbone structure. It's called the spiny millipede. The size, just about a grain of rice. So very small, you can put on the ground and put on one. So this one, if we just next to the pathway, I will show you. And in the meantime, I mentioned a lot about guano. What you can see behind me, if you come closer, we have the guano piece or the back uh, toilet over here. It's around 2 meters in that full long guano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you walk over here, you can actually see. <laughs> process when water seeping through cracks it will dissolve some of the cracks from smaller cracks and it will become bigger and larger upon time after the cave was formed because it still receives rainwater we have the spirotherm or the cave decoration Batu cave will form. This is a limestone hill, limestone cave. It started to form about 440 million years ago. And another active formation, we have the cave curtain, just like the flow stone you saw earlier. But because it's inclined wall and it's uneven surface, water will start to flow and create this hang light structure. So because the water keep flowing and the same line after thousands of years, this structure will become like this one. Giant jellyfish over here. Oh. So it's like a frozen waterfall mm -hmm. over here. Here we have the cave curtain as well as the flow stone over here, this parking. Everybody to turn off your lights. Now, uh, this creature, the aquatic creature, live together with the snail. All right, because the snail love moist area. About seventy percent of Malaysian land snail can be found in limestone area because they use the calcium to be up their shell. All right, the snail. I will try to show you up ahead. And the creature that I mentioned earlier live in the pool is called the flatworm or planaria mm. the three lines over here is flatworm mm. it has one more characteristic where they can regenerate by themselves which means if you cut the worm into two become two so, mm. Mm. so you not only can chop it like this right it will grow new heads or new tails in two mm. weeks time but if you cut it into half between the eyes it can grow two heads mm. so very interesting creature you can search on youtube after this search for flatworm with two heads okay very interesting creature over here so you're in batu cave right now so this creature was named after batu cave itself because of the locality so batu is a word in malay that means stones or rocks so this is a rock cave or stone cave over here all right not the bed okay so we're gonna go for the in and i will show you the spiders after this the spider is called the sacred spider purpose from the sagra family you got these black and white stripes in terms of the web they make very messy web to increase the surface area so this spider don't have to move too far to find food. Okay? So like I mentioned earlier for the spider, you know where they are.
forest on top of the hill as another habitat for a lot of wildlife including the plants but this kind of area facing threats because why we have developers for instance they try to blow up the hill use the marble and also the concrete for building materials, mm -hmm. the threats not only occur in Malaysia, it's a global mm -hmm. issue as well. That's why we want you to mm -hmm. spread the words mm -hmm. of the days. So we're going to head back. Please keep close to the group.